Welcome to live interactive English. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike. Hello, I'm Rainbow. And today, Rainbow, we are turning our attention to one of those. Well, it's one of the things I like about working here at Live Interactive English. Is every month we present you guys with all sorts of interesting articles about interesting things. Many of which are new to us as well as you. Right?、Yeah. We're always. Learning about holidays around the world, interesting cities, new actors or musicians who might be worth checking out, and also animals. Every once in a while, we turn our attention at live to a little animal out there that you've probably seen before. You might even know the name of it, but you don't know much about them. And every single time. We learn something that kind of blows my mind that I've never heard before, and I find absolutely weird and fascinating. And I have great hope that today and tomorrow, our animal for this month will do exactly that. What are we learning about Rainbow? Oh, I know very little about this、right? animal. It's very cute. It is, but it seems maybe slightly uncomfortable to like.、Mm. Touch, oh, yeah, well, maybe it's not a, it's you not know, a cuddling, snuggling、yeah. kitten in your lap. Like、animal. it looks no, like it's、no. got some armor、mm -hmm. and it's like ready to fight. It might pinch your fingers if you kind of stroke it the wrong way. Yeah, like it looks a little bit aggressive. Uh huh, kind of, but it also seems kind of peaceful because even though it even has kind of a scary name. Yeah, totally. I've never heard of them hurting anyone. Right. I've never read a headline about、uh, you know this animal attack. Hacking people in the in a jungle or no. something. No. Okay. Well, these are some very interesting and strange animals, and they are called armadillos. Let's、Ooh. check out today's article. Armadillo is Spanish for armored little one, and this name is certainly appropriate. Armadillos' bodies are covered in armor. A feature that makes them one of the most unique animals on the planet. But what else is there to know about these curious creatures? There are about 20 species of armadillo, and they come in a variety of shapes and sizes. The smallest are around 10 centimeters long, while the largest can reach lengths of 1.5 meters. In terms of color, they can be anything from gray to black to brown to red to yellow. One species even has a pink exterior with soft white hair on its belly and sides. All right, so let's check out our article: armadillos, nature's little tanks. We're not saying that these are animals that fight wars or have guns that shoot out of them. No, but they kind of look like tanks. They have hard armor. Protection on the outside, kind of like a tank. But where does that name come from? Well, actually, it says right in our first sentence: armadillo is Spanish for armored little one. Oh, that's so cute. cute! Armored little one, and this name is certainly appropriate. Yes, absolutely. Not only is armadillo just a cute name. Armored little one, all,、oh. but it's also an appropriate name. Something that is appropriate, it fits the situation. All right. So if you're doing things or saying things in a way or in a place or at a time where those words, those actions are okay or acceptable, will not seem strange or weird or have people look at you like. Have you lost your mind? Are you going crazy? What are you doing? That would be inappropriate, not appropriate. Appropriate, yeah, it fits, it works. If you're going to a baseball game and you're wearing a suit and tie and lovely gloves as you try to eat your hot dog, that's not really appropriate for a baseball game. But again, if you wear your favorite team shirt and a baseball cap to a big fancy business meeting with your boss. That's not really appropriate either. So the right thing in the right place at the right time. For example, I don't think that shirt is appropriate for a formal event. If I'm wearing one of those very colorful Hawaiian shirts you might wear on a holiday, that would be okay for a beach holiday, but not appropriate for something more formal and fancy. 
Armadillos' bodies are covered in armor, a feature that makes them one of the most unique animals on the planet. But what else is there to know about these curious creatures? So we know that they always look like they're prepared for war. Kind、right? of, they look like knights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, armor is like what you wear to battle. It's usually made of like some kind of steel, like metal, like Iron Man. You know, to protect yourself. That's what armor is for. And this special little creature. Hmm. So a creature could be an animal. It could be a little insect. It's a little thing. Of nature that is alive, and we maybe sometimes use the word creature to describe something generally if we don't give it a specific category. For example, rabbits are one of the cutest creatures. On the planet, these cute little beings, cute little animals that live there, and armadillos are maybe some of the bit stranger-looking creatures in this world. Yeah, creatures, animals. We can use these words in almost basically the same way. And of course, both of these words, we would never use them to talk about people being creatures, right? People, humans. We're a little bit different. Back to the article. There are about twenty species of armadillo. Wow, I didn't know that. that's a and lot. They, yeah, and they come in a variety of shapes and sizes. So I might have guessed two or three different species, but there are twenty different、uh, different species or different types of armadillos. And as you can probably imagine. They come in different shapes and sizes, and live in different parts of the world too. Obviously, so species are types, just as Mike said. So maybe it's they are all in the armadillo family, but、mm. the different species they look different. They could be different colors, larger, smaller. For example, in the human species, we have men, we have women. They are all different part of our same species. Another sentence for you: There are many different species of bear. We have the Taiwan Heishong,、mm-hmm. Taiwan black bear.、Yeah. We've got like polar bear. So many different types of bears. This is like a scientific category. We use species. We can be talking about humans, animals, insects, anything that's alive, creatures that we study. And many species also means there's a lot of variety within the species. That's right. Variety is a wide range or a lot of choices.、Should、a lot of Different types、yeah. of that type of thing. You could actually kind of say different species of animals are kind of like、Variety、different varieties. If we say、That's、cats,、right. we can talk about little house cats, but also tigers, lions, leopards, jaguars, pumas. These are、Ew. different types of cat, or there's a variety. Of different cats. When we go to a store, we don't want to buy just one thing of one size in one flavor. No, we want a variety. Different types of ice cream, different types of potato chip, different types of vegetables to put in a salad. There are varieties of these, or a wide range of choices. For example, a, v- a variety of fruits. Are available at the market, and the variety would change as we go through the seasons. Yeah, right. There would be seasonal fruits, different varieties at different times of year. So let's look at some of these different species. The variety of armadillos we can find out there. Remember, there are twenty of them. Let's look at some of the more interesting ones. The smallest, oh, are around ten centimeters long. Baby、oh, armadillo. You can put it in your pocket. They're so <laughs> cute. While the yeah, well, hang on. While the largest can reach lengths of one point five meters. Okay, that's like one hundred fifty centimeters. That's like a person. It's basically that's like a, a, a small person size. Oh my yeah, goodness! So you can have ones that are really quite big and ones that are really quite cute、Aww. and small. So that gives you an idea of just the variety. Variety we find huge out huge variety、yeah. in terms of color. They can be anything from gray to black to brown to red to yellow. So they're very colorful. Ooh, fashion colors. <laughs> One species even has a pink、oh. exterior、oh. with soft white hair、oh. on its belly oh, and that's, sides. That's the Barbie armadillo. Oh, it sounds like a hedgehog. It- Kind of does,、oh. and why is it pink? And it, doesn't that mean it gets eaten by everything that sees it? Well, many questions, a lot of answers coming up. So we're going to take a break and come back with more about amazing armadillos.
Hello， 大家好，我是 Hanny。这两天的课程是要介绍球鱼 Armadillo。那么球鱼在西班牙文当中是指有盔甲的小家伙。那这个名字很适合，因为球鱼身体覆盖着鳞甲。那我们就来多多了解这种奇特的生物吧。课文就写到说，球鱼大约有二十种，那它们有各式各样的体型和大小，最小的大约是十公分长，那么最大的可以达到一点五公尺长。哎，那么以颜色来说，就颜色而言，它们可以是灰色、黑色、棕色、红色到黄色的任何颜色，有一种甚至是。粉红色的外表，然后在腹部和两侧有柔软的白毛。刚刚这一段描述呢，让 Rainbow 老师联想到刺猬。我们顺便补充一下 ，hedgehog，hedgehog hedgehog 就是指刺猬。那么单字 appropriate， 它是形容恰当的、合适的。我们在前面加上否定字首 i n， 变成 inappropriate， 那就可以形容是不恰当的、不合适的。再看到 creature， creature 这个名词是指生物，尤其是指动物，比较少会用来指人哦。再来 species， 或是念作 species， 它是表达物种或是种。那注意这个单字，它单复数同形。Rainbow 老师在解释时，它用到 category， c a t e g o r y， category， 它表示种类或类别。下一个单字 variety。它是名词，可以指各式各样啊、种类或者是多样化、变化。我们就可以用 a variety of 来表达各式各样的。那这边有两个重点，我们进入文法时间。我们来看第一个重点是 in terms of， 表示就什么什么而言，从什么方面来看，用来表示以某个特定面向来讨论某事。那后面要接名词或动名词，注意 terms 固定用复数哦。举例来说。This job offer is appealing in terms of salary. 就薪水而言，这个工作机会很吸引人。第二个重点是 with 加受词加受词补语，这样的句型是用来表示附带状况或是说明原因。受词补语可以用分词、形容词或介系词片语。那如果是用分词当受词补语的话，我们就看受词跟这个受词补语的关系。主动就是用现在分词 v i n g， 被动就是用过去分词 p p。那我们来造两个例句。It's bad manners to talk with your mouth full. 满嘴食物还说话是不礼貌的。那这时候受词补语是用形容词 full， 也就是满嘴满满的那个状态。好 ，He felt nervous with so many people watching him. 有这么多人看着他，他感到很紧张。那这时候人观看是主动嘛，所以我们受词补语是用现在分词 watching。这句话课文中。Although all armadillos have armor, this too differs by species. Their shells are made up of separate bands, and how many of these they have depends on what kind of armadillo they are. The three-banded armadillo has the most effective armor, as it is the only species that can roll itself completely into a ball for protection. Other armadillos, not having this ability, opt to run away or dig to safety when they are faced with danger. Okay, back to our article where we'll find out more about armadillos and what types there are. The article says although our armadillos have armor, this too differs by species. Hmm, maybe it looks different. Okay, so the word "differ" means to be different, and that is a verb, which means it is not the same. So if one thing differs from another thing, it means this thing and this thing are not equal. They are not the same. Maybe one is black, one is white, one is tall, one is short, but they are separate. They are different. The cakes at the bakery differ by flavor. So there are many different cakes. Maybe they look very similar. But what is not similar, what is different, or how they differ, is their flavor or their taste. Mm-hmm. Let's find out how they differ or how they are different. The armor that is、It、says their shells are made up of separate bands. So I、mm. guess this would be true for all armadillos. Basically, their shells, their armor,、yeah. are made up of separate bands. And how many of these they have. Depends on what kind of armadillo they are. Okay, well, I guess that kind of makes sense. The smaller armadillos might have fewer bands of armor, 
the larger ones will have yeah, more. You might them. imagine that they have the same size, the same number, but the sizes are just different depending、mm. on the armadillo. But no, some of them will actually have more. That would actually be handy because if you, you know, can count them. you can count them, and then you can probably know、yeah. what kind of so armadillo are you are、smash. looking at. And in fact, it is so different and such a sort of special and easy thing to notice. That the names of the armadillos are often based on the number of bands of that special armor they have wrapped around their body. It says the three-banded armadillo has the most effective armor, as it is the only species that can roll itself completely into a ball for protection. Oh, amazing! That is absolutely cool. I guess it's got three large bands of、yeah. armor. And unlike what a lot of us would guess, that all armadillos can do that cool thing where they roll up. There's like、so、no head.、It's、animals can't the... eat their、oh. soft parts. It's actually only one kind, the three-banded armadillo, that can do that completely. Maybe a lot of them can kind of wrap, so most of them is protected. But only the three-banded armadillo can turn itself into a very hard soccer ball that's impossible to eat. For you know, hungry dogs or cats or things like that. Other armadillos not having this ability opt to run away or dig to safety when they are faced with danger. So I guess that they have to hide themselves underground. Well, that would be more normal, right? For、yeah. animals who are being chased, rabbits might dig into a hole. They will also try to run away.、Yeah. Only the three-banded arm armadillo can say, "Well, I'm just going to roll up here, and you're going to." Poke away at me with your nose and try to bite through my armor、Ooh. with your teeth, but it's not going to work. I'm a three-banded、wow. armadillo. I'm the world's toughest soccer ball. So、That's、good luck. So cool. But you're going away hungry, is what the three-banded armadillo. Good for armadillo. them. Yes, good for them. No running away or digging for him. He just rolls into a ball and waits for someone to get bored. All right, guys. <laughs> thanks for joining us. We'll be back with more good stuff about armadillos. I told you. It's、more、fun. interesting facts about these interesting animals. Yeah. So come back and join us for that.、Tomorrow. See you. Bye bye. Quran 前面提到鳅鱼身体覆盖着鳞甲。那虽然所有的鳅鱼都有鳞甲，但是它们的鳞甲会因为物种而异。鳅鱼的壳呢是由单独的带状物组成的。那他们有多少带状物，则是取决于他们是哪一种球鱼。像呢，如果你上网查，就可以看到有三代球鱼啊、九代球鱼等等。好，我们来看单字 differ 这个动词，它表示不同或是相异。注意它是不及物动词。那我们用 differ by 加上名词，就可以表达因什么而异。那这边一个重点，我们进入文法时间。这边我们来整理 depend on 的用法。第一种呢，可以表达取决于，像 We're not sure if we'll go to the beach tomorrow. It depends on the weather. 我们不确定明天是否会去海边，要视天气情况而定。那第二个意思呢，可以表达依靠、依赖，就跟 rely on 意思相同。举例来说 ，Jane used to depend on her husband to drive her everywhere. Jane 以前都是仰赖她先生载她去各个地方。第三个意思可以表达相信、肯定某人会做某事。例如 ，I can always depend on my best friend to cheer me up when I'm down. 我心情低落时，总是可以相信好友会让我振作起来。好，那以上今天的讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。Armadillo is Spanish for armored little one, and this name is certainly appropriate. Armadillos' bodies are covered in armor, a feature that makes them one of the most unique animals on the planet. But what else is there to know about these curious creatures? There are about 20 species of armadillo, and they come in a variety of shapes and sizes. The smallest are around 10 centimeters long, while the largest can reach lengths of 1.5 meters. In terms of color, they can be anything from gray to black to brown to red to yellow. One species even has a pink exterior with soft white hair on its belly and sides. Although all armadillos have armor, this too differs by species. Their shells are made up of separate bands, and how many of these they have depends on what kind of armadillo they are. 
The three-banded armadillo has the most effective armor, as it is the only species that can roll itself completely into a ball for protection. Other armadillos, not having this ability, opt to run away or dig to safety when they are faced with danger. Here's how to play. The host will be holding three cards. Each card will have two sentences containing a secret vocabulary word or phrase that has been replaced by the word bear. The host will read the sentences out loud for the contestants to guess. Whoever guesses first gets a point. The person with the most points wins. And you can play along too! Hi everyone, I'm Carolyn. I'm Steven. And I'm Kiki. Alright, let's get started. Are you both ready to play? Yes. Okay. Our first one is a noun and it's one word. A lot of people love playing bears. May's favorite bear is volleyball. Game. Activity. Uh, uh, sport. Uh, yes, it's sport. Oh, wow. Yes. Good job. Okay, I'll read both the sentences. Okay. A lot of people love playing sports. May's favorite sport is volleyball. Okay, Kiki. All right, our next one is an adjective and it's one word. The bear boy is still learning to tie his shoes. My son is too bare to play video games. Yum! Yum. I heard Steven first. Yeah. I heard Steven first. <laughs> okay, I'll read both sentences and it is young, yes. The young boy is still learning to tie his shoes. My son is too young to play video games. Okay, one, one on one. one. Okay. All right, there's one more. This is a tiebreaker. Ooh, okay, it's a phrase and it's two words. I went on a walk to Bear Bear before dinner. Ken played on his phone to Bear Bear while waiting for the bus. Kill time? Yes! Oh. Ooh, yes. Kiki. I thought that one was going to be that one's really I thought hard. That was hard. Yeah. Okay, I'll read the sentences. I went on a walk to kill time before dinner. Ken played on his phone to kill time while waiting for the bus. All right, so congratulations, Good job, Kiki. Kiki. You are our winner. I thought I was going to lose. <laughs> I thought you were going to lose too. Yeah. <laughs> Humble, very humble. Yeah. <laughs>